Give me a sec here, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a sec here. Okay, okay. Core, as you can see uh, up here. Uh, widespread uh, impacts even outside of the, the, the brightly colored areas on radar. There we As, go. Uh, Andy said this is one of the reasons why we get these big box right, right, warnings. Right. And, uh, we are live. Huge. Uh, I mean just precise, a huge uh, warning tornado risk zone for today. We are looking tornado wash from near TV. Dallas. So that's very all the way up. That's very interesting stuff. Getting close to um, Bloomington and Urbana in Illinois. Illinois. Mid, Illinois. Mid, mid Illinois yeah, to yeah, mid Texas. St. Louis as well. With the hail, uh, but if you look, if you go and look at the um, the uh, terminal radar uh, T, right, sorry, just trying to. Uh, you do have gauge gauge shear on that, uh, so it wouldn't surprise me at all to see a tornado on that even as well. Uh, it's not going to show right, up. Sorry. So, so let's go to the rest. Let's just get this part done. Day one, a moderate risk. This is the first moderate risk we've had in. Okay. So. Um, don't even know how long. I mean, it's been a good while since we've had a moderate risk, and this is a big one. Right so here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> there's a whole lot going on here uh, with our storm. Right here in the middle of Oklahoma. Oklahoma City's dead center of it. And I've heard people say, oh, there hasn't been a lot of tornadoes. We have one tornado warning right now. Let's check on that. But there hasn't been a lot of tornadoes. There's nothing going on. And that's because the storms haven't started. There's been storms. We've had storms going through here today. We have what? Ten severe thunderstorm warnings, one tornado warning. I mean, that's still, we still have some, but the main storms, I believe, have not even, have just started. And they are going to go. Um, watching this, yeah, this is very, not going through a good area. I see a lot of areas that could have rotation here. Tornado possible now with this tag through St. Louis as it goes into the metro. Anyway, uh, we'll get back to that one. Here's the tornado warning. This storm it's on here. It has a little baby hook. I I don't see anything with that. I went 11 now. I, 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 no, shoot. Open the wrong thing. I, 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 I mean, if I was in the way that, I would definitely take shelter. Same with the one in Louis in St. Louis. That's definitely becoming... Whoa. That's definitely showing something. That could be bad. We'll have to watch that one. But... I would just take caution. I wouldn't be. It's not a full out bad situation yet, but it's not good. Anyway, as we watch these new supercells fire up here in the moderate risk zone, we'll take a look. Let's get so moderate. This is a this is a decent moderate risk. Thirty three thousand people. Tornado risk only at ten percent, but it's for a very very large area, guys. All the way arc all the way from again almost into Texas. From Nearly uh, into um into multicellular clusters and into Springfield again, and we have what just got put up here. Form itself out of this, but we have a lot of a severe thunderstorm warnings right now. I just I must have missed something. And Perry, we also have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning down here. In uh, Bing, Binger or Binger and Hinton, Oklahoma, that one's going to bring about inch and a quarter. Okay, so ten percent hash risk for a so huge three. area. I mean, this is a very large three. area. Go ahead, Andy. I haven't. Yeah, Ryan, I'm trying if to this really is more, this, this will be uh, night version of it. But let's go tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow is a I cannot tell big day. There is a tornado ongoing or not with this, but there is definitely some much Columbus, all of Ohio, almost is in this risk. I, I, I mean, that's legitimate, especially if we go up until that's on like state, not common. And I expect there. this to grow. I've um, seen people saying this will be a high risk. I highly doubt it. Tornado though, 15% hatch risk. Again, we haven't seen this since I think May or June. I mean, it has been a long time since we have seen this, folks. 15% hatch tornado risk. As long as these all move through, this could this could go 30, and 30 is high. It's one of those things. It might. I mean, this might. But we just gotta watch models. I will definitely post if this goes high. Any risk in Georgia? Georgia, tomorrow in Georgia, almost the whole state's in a tornado risk. Top part's in 10%, the very top. The main part is in a 5% tornado risk, and the bottom little part's too. If you live on the coast in Georgia, you are out of the risk. 
Alabama's actually developing more of a tornado risk. I might expect this to expand even more south and maybe get rid of some of these parts in Tennessee and actually get like two risks here. As we have two tornado warnings now. St. Louis, very populated areas, guys. This is going through very populated areas. Now we have to actually switch over. It is trying to form. I, it's close to the radar, so it's really hard. To, it's there's a lot of um. That's going to cause the sirens to go off in, in St. Louis. Uh, so just go ahead and prepare for for the potential for that to happen. It's we don't know for sure just yet. Um, it's but, it's uh, so contaminated here. It's hard to know. It might produce something. It might not. We do have Chris Hall um, out there, and he's got a good view of it. Um, you can see his live feed above my head. He's trying to get to a parking lot or something with a more static view of the base base three tornadoes we also have freddie mckinney out there oh wait we got another one okay now they start like i said this is what we expected right on cue these are going to start to pop off here this is a moderate risk this isn't a joke yep right here there it is okay so this is noble county this is north of oklahoma city near tulsa three and twelve okay let me update let me update this a new tornado oh jeez okay Jennings, Ferguson, Maryland Pike. Maryland Sorry, I'm trying to get all this. Sorry. My goodness, we've got another new tornado uh, warning. So there's a lot of rotation in here. One right here, one right. This is, oh my. This is just going crazy, this storm. These are all really close. They're going to take away from each other. This one near Oklahoma City. Going to want to watch that. Down south and between Moore. These will fire up. This one's heading straight towards Moore and Norman along OCCA. And it's going to head try towards Norman, Moore, Newcastle, around Bridge Creek, that area. All of these coming through Oklahoma City. This is the main risk area. We're going to want to watch these as they head towards the Oklahoma City metro. Not a good area. We Not a good area for these storms to come into. Like, this is the main risk. This is a moderate risk. We're going to watch it. That's all we can do. As these come... Oh, there's only 90 people in this county, dude. Holy. That's crazy. But as these move through, you you can see here though they are taking out power for these people. It's it sucks, but it is what it is. And this heavy hail is going to be going through the Dallas metro here. I don't know when it up when they update the risks again. I'm not I don't know all that. But if they up when they update the risks again, I expect this 10% to go to actually expand. I doubt they had a 15%. There's a possibility. The event's already started, so I doubt it. 15% for tomorrow. But um, listen to his response. If you're just now tuning in, we do have a tornado warning uh, for. We're, we're just gonna watch it. Missouri, almost 800,000 people are. In Jeez, um, lots, us. Of, uh, uh, lots of people are in this. Um, once again, Maryland Heights, uh, Clayton. Hey, oh yeah, that's. I would say it's definitely coming together. And oh no. Hey, Ryan, oh shit! Don't tell me that's debris. Yes, Hunter, go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I gotta line this up, folks. Just double box. Hey, I'm currently on this tornado warning that's nearing Glencoe, Oklahoma. That might be there debris, guys. Right behind me. I'm trying to get a little, little bit more east. Might be guys. debris on this. We hope that's not, because this is a bad. What I'm seeing. This. Not seeing much rotation with it. Again, this is a bad area. It's going to go into here, guys. Near a heavy populated city. 800,000 people are in this risk. That is a lot of people. Uh, Andy also has something for us. Go ahead, Andy. Look at St. Louis. Oh, do my. I believe, to the best of my ability, that the, there is a tornado on the ground east of Chesterfield, Missouri. Yeah, I do, too. Um, do look at, look at this picture. This is around Chesterfield. Very beautiful structure. This is consistent. So I would say there is a tornado ongoing just north of I-64 and west wow. of, of Creve Coeur. If there is a tornado ongoing, it should be confirmed fairly quickly. It's not out in the middle of nowhere. By no means it's in the middle of nowhere. This is not good. We if there is a tornado, you got to hope it lifts because this is going like literally to downtown St. Louis. I mean, I've had all these situations where it's like, oh my gosh, this one looks like it could. This one looks like it could. This one really could go through a bad area, folks. So... I mean, I know there's five people watching this, but if you were in St. Louis, I would definitely take, I, I would be in my safe spot if you were in St. Louis. One behind it is still showing rotation for sure. Nothing, I, nothing like um the north one actually, a new scan just came in. Yeah, I don't. 
be uh, somewhat of a uh, RSV surge on reflectivity. But oh, wow. We're so close to the radar and things are so scattered about here. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on, but that right there is enough uh, for me to agree with Andy's assessment that this is likely a sign of a tornado that's either down now or was down uh, near uh, Chesterfield. It's going to continue to move east uh, or northeast or generally uh, east towards um, the area between uh, Olivet and Maryland Heights uh, over the next little bit. If it is down, so we, we need you to take shelter. We need you to take shelter if you're anywhere out here. Um, uh, near Villa Dorado Drive. Is it still on the ground? Aslan, Overland, uh, Olivet. Oh, wow. Any of these places okay, hopefully. Right the okay, let's just, let's get, get this up here. Still on the if this lines up. Oh, that, is that. Tracking over populated areas, we believe. Red. Based off of some very, you know. I hope that's not on the ground, guys, because that's a bad deal. If this is on the ground, this is a bad deal. Because um, if this is on the ground, what you know, this is here, this little kind of ball you see here, we, that would be debris from homes that this is hitting as this goes through neighborhoods. We hope this isn't. This is kind of one of those things, like we said, like um, Andy, you were hearing say, this is so close to the radar. It's hard to tell, but that is looking like debris to me. That I I gotta say, that looks like debris. If I had to bet, this is gonna cycle here near Chesterfield, and what it'll do, it would have dropped like a mini bird fart and then drop another one here. Do a null as it like literally as this goes, there becomes more people every second. It's on the ground. Hopefully we can get. Uh, okay, okay. So Chris is in five. We're just waiting for the names to change. We've got Chris Hall and Freddie McKinney in St. Louis. So I'm waiting for one of them to. Uh, kind of turn right, they're both driving okay uh, now we're at 14 Louis. alerts let's see oh yeah that's turn around and get oh it. wow okay hold up wow debris signature okay guys this is not good this is not yeah can we get uh, get him on here get him on here this is not a good area um he he's very close to the tornado uh, right now, uh, Freddie McKinney's also pretty close to it. That's not, not good. This oh, tornado wow. warning yep. has okay. been upgraded. This is not a good hey, Ryan, issue. We're going west. We're What's in it? Downtown St. Louis. Now it is observed it's tornado. Dumb, but it's big time Fif lowering from my Fifteen visual, severe right thunderstorm now. warnings. This is definitely okay, got a big time lowering from Chris Hall's visual. We now have a confirmed tornado warning from in St. Louis. In uh, you guys are under the gun here for a uh, tornado warning uh, or, or a potential tornado as it moves to the east as well. D uh, the um, correlation coefficient uh, showed the sign of debris uh, just a little bit ago, and it's still there for the most part. Um, so uh, we believe that this tornado might still be down as it approaches uh, the area between. I don't Florida know what it's doing. If it's coming together, it. it's uh, Freddie McKinney. It should become a, more organized. If I had to bet, this will come more organized. Be the, it'll kind of pull the, itself together and it'll tighten up. Of the storm. Which, trees are in if the it way, does that the, again, the we are actually looking way, so at something sure that could exactly be a bad situation. This one down here is also going to probably tighten up near Stillwater. This rotation definitely wants to get watched. Even in in St. Louis as well, who will give us another vantage point. Once again, if you're just now tuning in, a confirmed tornado warning for St. Louis, Missouri. Things are ramping up right as we start the stream, guys. I told you. Here is a video from uh, Will B, a very ominous-looking storm moving into St. Louis. You can hear the uh, the sirens going off in the background. We are going to be seeing damage. I'll get to that in a second. I'm just posting this. Once again, uh, Will, thank you for sending that in. But if you are in St. Louis, if you're under a tornado warning right now, please get to shelter. Oh, for oh wait, oh let me let me pull this up. Okay, there's definitely footage of this one. Hold up. I have it on Ryan's stream because I don't have Chris Hall. Let me pull this up here, guys. This is definitely on the ground. Ah, uh, you can't really see it anymore. Never mind. I was get. Oh, wait. Let me pull this up. 
was I was gonna try and get that for you guys here. Okay, there's definitely footage of this one. Hold up, oh, okay. I have Sorry. an Orion stream because I don't have Chris Hall. All right. Pull this up here, guys. This is definitely. Yep. yep. I don't know if anyone's in here. Pawnee should also get warned. There's kind of a line here of storms that should probably get warned, in my opinion. This one, you could. Oh, you definitely want to keep the warning here. I don't know if anyone's in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so the Missouri uh, Seventh. Department of Transportation is on cameras for showing people are currently taking Hey Ryan, it's Chris, visually, I don't see anything currently. I'm right beside of where it would be if it is down. I'm on I-10 at exit 1F, I want to think. Um, we're looking right up in Jesus. right now. I don't have a visual on it at all right now, so I'll let you know if it changes, but right now, nothing. Okay, um, so that is, uh... Chris, uh, giving us a beautiful Mike Morgan is law. Um, uh, Missouri, St. Louis, um, and Elijah, go ahead and continue. Two point seven five hail confirmed. Wow. Okay. All right. Thank you, Elijah. Um, uh, so we've got uh, uh, two point seven five uh, inch. Jeez, us. We've got multiple storm chasers on the ground right here. We 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 pretty much know exactly what's going on despite our lack of late radar clarity um so um you know this is a big storm let me get the severe weather coverage on let me get mike morgan up here come on mike i don't see it i have him live um which is good news all right we got mike morgan a feature Right now, 702 Pawnee and Ralston and then up toward Hominy and Cleveland. That'd be the Keystone Lake area. And then Pawhuska by 748. Uh, that is that tornado warning. Let's go to the chopper right now, looking at this Edmonds storm. Oh, wow, that's rotating. Continuing now, just north of Oklahoma Christian. So this is near Oklahoma City. It's rotating near Oklahoma City. Jesus. These are the same guys that covered more 2013. Like I told you, Rat. Curious, Rat. These are the guys that covered more 2013. As you see this, the uh, storm, um, been talking about it. It is definitely rotating. We've just been watching an area, but a little bit of spin here. Right in there. It's heading off to the northeast here. So we're just going to keep an eye on this, make sure it doesn't do anything. It does have a little lightning and rain up ahead of it, but you can have a good picture here from McIntyre Lodge up before as to exactly uh, what is going on uh, as, as the storm is passing through Edmond. So we'll stay on top of it. Mason Dunn reporting for McIntyre Law. Chopper 4, back to you. Okay, yeah, you so can tell there's uh, rotation we'll right there. Oh, watch that. Watch yeah, right there. Let me see right there, that wall cloud, that lowering. That is a rotating but a non-severe storm right now. Has some dimes and nickels. Ah, uh, I don't know about that one, Mike. That right looks severe. Comes on around. Uh, that lowering is north of Oklahoma Christian and just to the south of South Central Edmond right now is where that is. So tornado warning here coming out of Glencoe, but we're also going to look very, very carefully at Stillwater. The sirens are going off in Stillwater. I want to focus in on this rotation to the just immediately southwest of Stillwater because this is increasing. The red is getting hotter. That's going wind. Going let's go. Let's get Stillwater up here. getting hotter. That's wind going this way. So this is a okay. So near Stillwater, Oklahoma, this is still observed on the tornado. North a little bit. It looks like the, the biggest part of the storm is going to miss downtown St. Louis. Good. But, uh, Ferguson and Jennings and Overland are now next in line for a potentially serious uh, situation here as this tries to produce another tornado. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get in the Oklahoma City one. Photo. I guess this is just, and, uh, is this the one he's talking about? Yeah, but I believe it is. This one probably will try and hook near Edmond. And then, it luckily, it'll get out of the city pretty quickly. It'll get out of Oklahoma City, which is good. I mean, you don't want it going through big cities like this. 
ominous storm from uh, the one north near Stillwater, I believe it's the one they were talking about. If we get on Norman's radar, it is definitely increasing. This one's definitely gonna try and form something here now. Now, uh, I don't think that this one will do too much. Oh shoot, they have it here. Professional storm chasers on the ground, right next to the spinning part of the storm. I don't know. It's it's hard for me to diagnose this one. These radar, it's just it's kind of a mess on the radar, which it could produce. But what what makes it makes me think that that won't do that much, honestly. The St. The St. Louis storm definitely touched down here. So, um, yeah, we got. Uh, let, let, can we please get Freddie? And Chris? yeah, thank you. In the one and two spots, uh, can you can we flip the bottom three? So the tornado so warning continues. It's now radar indicated, and, and I believe it is going to try and do some more. Try and hook up a new rotation in here. It's kind of a mess. Huge hail again, like we said. Your Herman Jefferson City. This tornado warning's been lifted. Are we down to okay? So. Oh. Oh wow, we're getting new footage. And it's not producing a tornado right now, um, but you're still under a tornado warning in Ferguson and Jennings, so take shelter immediately, please. We got, we've got a, another tornado warning out here in Oklahoma. Um, it looks to me like that is um, the storm that produced that tornado warning is no longer showing the same kind of signs as uh, as it was earlier so that's good news um uh, i think that tornado Edmund, be allowed to let's see what mike morgan's saying here oh wow he's got rotation that was a weak funnel cloud, funnel cloud no doubt about it let's go back over to radar again it is generally non-severe emily just had a pea-sized hail report from edmund but clearly, there's a little hook there coming on the back side of that. We'll zoom on in, look at velocities right here. And the center of where that just occurred is basically Kelly and about uh, Dan Covell. Covell and Kelly, just southwest of Covell and Kelly, is where that just occurred. Rotation is there, but it's not very strong. Yeah. That was a weak funnel cloud over the north central side of Edmond. About so we missed that one. I don't think I can. North of downtown Edmond is where doesn't look like I can go back. Very close to Covell and uh, Boulevard is where that rotation is right now. Quick update here from the chopper once again. Uh, Mason, clearly it's changing shape very, very quickly. And right now it's it looks gone, gone. A bit more flat. It looks gone to me. I think this one's gone. Yeah, Mike, we just made a little... Uh, we're just making a little circle here. We're yeah, I still see the some right there. Uh, moving through Edmund. It's right through there. Edmund, north side. We're going to watch it. Edmund. It continues to have a little bit of spin with it. We see these little fingers here and there. Had a pretty good funnel uh, just a minute ago, but it did not last very long. So we are continuing to watch this storm that is north of Edmund. It is intensifying just a little. We have a lot of rain and a lot and a little bit of lightning with it out front. So, uh, like I said, from McIntyre Law Chapter Four, I think it warrants us uh, watching it as it moves through the metro. Back to you. Okay, thank you so much for that, Mason Dunn. That's your live report there from Edmond. Let's go back over to the Stillwater storm. Oh, what's that? Again, you folks in Edmond, it's not a. Oh, that scared me for a second. It's a weak funnel cloud. You saw it there live. Come down. Rotation with it was fairly slow, but it was definitely a weak funnel cloud. So uh, this is going to be uh, Mike Bennett here on Highway That's 51 all on the ran. west side of Stillwater. Let's go back Watch issue for Springfield. One. Give you an update here. Tornado warning there out of the Glencoe area moving up toward Pawnee. So heads up for you folks in Pawnee. And there's still a broad but fairly strong oh, yeah. circulation now coming into Stillwater. That's why the Holy siren's crap. going off in Stillwater. The hail's pulsing up with that a little bit, Mike. And the hail's coming up some as well. So that's still a organized severe storm with rotation. 
on the southwest side of Stillwater, so the hail size is going to be climbing in that. You see the uh, hot red there. St. Louis there, looks crazy. Back around the back Look at St. Louis's storm. Notice it's just not tightened up. It hasn't tightened up. So that's good, and it's going to be Damn. passing Stillwater Damn. a particular storm in the next five minutes or so. But there are more coming up from the southwest. There's your storm coming out of Edmond with that weak funnel cloud. Obviously, you see a little hook right there, and that's going to be very close to uh, Oak Tree now coming up into the Oak Tree area. Let's go to Aaron Brackett with an update on that. Aaron, tell us what you see. Okay, Mike, approaching uh, Chris is one of them. Uh, I 35 McKinney. right now in uh, uh, Edmond. Uh, we're going to uh, jumping back and forth between all of them. We also have um, a storm chaser in Oklahoma on the tornado one storm out there. So we'll we get a new warning in with him as well. Another severe, few severe thunderstorm warnings. We just get this on here so I can update these. So we have Ryan Hall talk. What was it 17, 18 now? Jeez. Just want to uh, give you a heads up as well. This is no longer a confirmed tornado warning. Radar indicated now. Um, but I see if it's coming to get this uh, Whoa. continues to try to um, do what it's been doing. We might see another um, confirmed. Warning. I don't know about so y'all, but that one seems McKinney weak to me. With the big storm behind St. Louis and the the big arch, St. Louis arch there. It's back west. It's going to cross this river pretty quickly. Very, very strong, ominous-looking storm moving into the St. Louis area uh, on the northern side uh, as Freddie is on Interstate 70 trying to stay in front of this thing. Hey, Ron, it's Chris. That hook, or that, uh, the view of that, just it looks like it's tried to completely diminish uh, but the hook, the original hook, oh man, that has came together quick. We're gonna go after that here. Okay, so uh, fast You're talking about this one environment here with our storm in St. Louis. Good thing we've got uh, professional storm. A few of these got hooks on them for sure. Even and let's see on the Freddy Springfield there, radar. Uh, giving us uh, oh, this, this one's gonna probably try and hook from the ground. The tornado warning in Oklahoma was just allowed to expire. Yep, that one just lifted. And now we've got some uh, new info from Andy. So, Andy, go ahead. So, one tornado warning. Thanks, Ryan. Actually, on that St. Louis storm, you could go ahead and look to the northeast of the terminal radar. There's a sneaky little rotation there that's only been ramping up every single minute uh, from those really quick scans from the terminal radar. If you can't see it very well from the uh, Doppler, then go ahead and look at it from the terminal. You'll see a very tight rotation. I would not be surprised if that gets warned. It's headed to uh, almost, you know, due north, north north east, north northeast. So actually closer to uh, the state line here near Grafton and I Elsa. I do not see on it. The Illinois side should be watching out. Uh, oh, it might be here. If it does get warned. Okay. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Andy, uh, for that. Uh, we're going to go uh, back to this uh, map, and we are going to uh, try I to do not that as, as much as possible for y'all. This is, um, yeah, this is what we're talking about here. Look oh. at how tiny that is. Good eye. Good eye, Andy. <laughs> ah, right here. Um, this so is, this uh, is what another, he was talking uh, about. Yeah, interesting situation up here uh, near uh, Elsa. Once again, a, uh, White Corn, Wilkie, Lock Haven, and Piazza Hills. Uh, and a part of the storm that you normally wouldn't, really look at uh in terms of you know trying to figure out where a tornado is with something like this but there you go that is a, a really good indication that we've got something trying to come together there hey, at powers road south of highway 94 near white corn get ready um, that might be a problem for the next several minutes as it goes up towards lock haven and elsa uh, right along the missouri and um, oh yeah uh, illinois state line we'll, we'll be checking back in on that as well that's crazy uh, the big base of the storm, the part that our storm chasers are on, continues to look impressive uh, down here near Ferguson and Jennings. Big hail moving into fluorescent and um, uh, Spanish Lake right now. But right down here, this is where all of our storm chasers have their eye on. Um, this is the part that might be trying to produce a new tornado as it moves once again into the Illinois area. Downstream, Edwardsville, Illinois, Collinsville, uh, Grant Fork. This is where the storm is going. Whoa, what? Uh, oh, well. Hold up. For an inch and a half hail and 60 mile per hour winds. 
Brad Arnold is racing down I-70 to get in front of this other storm that j produced a tornado warning near Jefferson City. This storm is still rotating. It still looks really impressive. It still has a hook. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. As this is also eventually going to try to make it up there towards uh, St. Louis. So there's going to be a train of yep. strong storms come up through the St. Louis area over the next several hours. It's a if, if you're watching right now from St. Louis, get ready. You got the downtown area got missed by this one, um, and it's about to be over for a lot of the areas on the northern side. But this is going to be a long night of severe weather for you. Uh, I just want you to know that you'll get an hour break between this storm and the next one, and then. There's going to be more behind that. At some point, it might even become a flash flood risk with all the rain that you'll be getting. So Let's go down to Texas. It's, it's not over. Oklahoma. Let's see how these are doing. Watch. Some embedded rotation near Stillwater. Little pockets near Edmond. One tornado warning, and, and it's the one here for uh, St. Louis County, Missouri. Right here, that's probably going to be rotation. I think storms are still... Yeah, we still got storms firing up here. These are going to be, like, I think the main threat. Look at the hail accumulation in Maryland Heights. This is from Vinny. He sent this to me on Twitter. Um, that's a lot of hail. It looks like it's plum snowed. Uh, if you want to send me pictures like that, if you can do hey, so safely, we we're heading up you towards GPS is set to Jennings currently. Uh, the, if there was any rotation, it is just to my due north, and if it is, it's uh, rain wrapped as of right now. Chris Hall reporting that uh, the base of the storm is no longer uh, visible due to being wrapped in rain. So if we do have a funnel forming or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's coming together, I, be I believe, here. Right off the bat. Uh, here's another incredible uh, look at the ominous storm uh, near Manchester, Missouri there. Just a, honestly, a beautiful storm, but also a scary looking storm um, as it goes uh, through the northern side of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Now moving into Illinois. Spanish Lake's about to get pounded by some heavy hail. Uh, same story for you guys over there towards Oldenburg and Roxana in Illinois. This is what's coming for you. Still got the big hook on radar. Rotation right there. We'll see if this tries to produce another tornado um, as it moves off to the north and east. At Ryan Hall, y'all, on Twitter, if you want to send me stuff, feel free to tag me in newsworthy things as well. Make sure to also tag your local weather forecast office, please, if you're sending me novel reports, stuff that hasn't already been reported elsewhere. That's... <sighs> 14 minutes ago, we got this update from the Storm Prediction Center. Let's see what they're saying. Training supercells will continue along a warm front from eastern Missouri into far western Indiana this evening. Big time uh, hail, wind, tornado, and flash flooding threat for everybody in that big red circle there. You can see right here. Andy, go ahead. Hey, Ryan, I'm watching two cells in northern, northeastern Oklahoma right now. Uh, and on the, on the tornado water, risk, um, it's they're not even yeah, really the north and east fully in it, Oklahoma. but has come together quite rapidly with some rotation and now some uh, pretty tight gate-to-gate uh, -gate rotation. Wouldn't be surprised if we did see a tornado warning with that. It is right. a little bit of an awkward part of the storm, so I question its validity uh, as a radar analysis person. And the other one you'll see is definitely uh, just to the northeast, and that is a chonk and hail storm with a very broad rotation, but um, pretty uh, strong on uh, both uh, parts of the rotation, both sides. So I'm watching that. both these storms right now. Neither are tornado warned. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a tornado warning with that uh, still water storm that's headed to the north and east toward Glencoe and Pawnee, Oklahoma. Uh, just because the, we did get that uh, last tornado warning in Oklahoma Jeez. very close to the same location. So the conditions in the atmosphere do seem to be supportive uh, right there. All right, thank you very much. Guys, that was uh, meteorologist Andy Hill drawing our attention from St. Louis, Missouri, way down here in Oklahoma. This is a big system. We've got widespread severe weather out here. 
Rotation south of Glencoe moving towards West Point. That definitely looks concerning to me. We'll see if we get a couple more frames of that, if we get a tornado warning from the National Weather Service. I believe um, one of our storm chasers, Hunter, is near that storm. Let me see exactly where he is. Um, he, yeah, he's yeah, just to the south of Pawnee. So um, let's take a look at his uh, feed right now. This is a live look from storm chaser Hunter Hurley with a huge uh, lightning bolt there. This He is uh, pointing us towards uh, the storm uh, that is rotating uh, and that might try to produce a tornado here soon if it isn't already trying right now. Also, it looks like a situation where uh, if it is producing a tornado or if it will in the near future, it might be a rain-wrapped uh, tornado. So uh, definitely, if you get that warning out here, you want to take shelter very, that's for very quickly. That's pretty not that good, um, guys. Uh, and another thing is uh, both of these storms, the one that's coming towards... Uh, Yale and Merrimack and Glencoe and the one, the big one up here to the north that's going towards Blackburn and Hominy. Uh, not only are these capable of producing tornadoes, but man, these are huge hail makers and uh, damaging wind uh, makers as well. So everybody needs to be paying attention to those severe thunderstorm warnings, even if we don't get uh, tornado warnings with some of these storms here. But I would, I'd be so surprised if we didn't with this. All right. So... Yo, we find we got a donation in Oklahoma. It's been a second since we checked in on Texas. What's going on in Texas? No way. No way, guys. Still big storm coming into the northwestern side Hold of up. Dallas. Okay. Um, it's no, don't not mind me. That's me making earlier, my thumbnail. It's still carrying two-inch hail and sixty-mile-an-hour winds as it goes towards Denton and Flower Mound. Yo, guys. And Fort Worth miraculously have found themselves right in the middle of, like, a split in this line. You might go without seeing too much in the way of uh, severe storms in the downtown area. <gasps> the north and southern <gasps> side of the metro. Racing, thank uh, you so much, dude. Didn't have, to, to, do, didn't have to do Apache. that. Uh, all you guys are going to get uh, a pretty decent storm. Yeah, dude, I forgive you. Comes through. Big hail with the northern mode. Uh, mostly wind with the southern side moving into Glen, Co Glen Rose and Claiborne right now. back okay guys into indiana i have so something to announce we've got a couple severe thunderstorm warnings here hold on let me put it in the chat hail moving uh into arthur let's shut this off for a second let's get some hype uh, here we got a second we got, got a break in the action before these actually start to ramp up again let's, let's do this real quick announcement It's time. It's time to give 10 more free membership. Here we go. You ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. I'm about it's going to be 5 and then we're going to wait a second and then another 5. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Let's do it. Woo. Let's see Kraut not get it. Because he's not in here. Kraut's about to not get it. Crouch's not going to get it. He's not in here. This is about to be so goofy. <laughs> He's going to be pissed. And I'll just say, yo, you didn't show up to the live stream, man. That's not my problem. All right, ready? We got five more. Here we go. Yeah, Kraut didn't get it! Pfft. 
I, I, I gotta get more professional here, guys. Let's go back into storm chasing mode. Uh, there we go. Scan here on um, velocity uh, is even more tornado-y looking uh, than the last. Where are we? So, uh, oh well, actually, that that most recent scan is a little bit less convincing. Uh, but we we definitely have a, a rotating storm here. Let's go. That has the uh, capability uh, of producing a tornado um, as it moves towards Merrimack. Let's go back up and, uh, near St. Louis. This one's. Should still be warned to sit bad spot and there's nothing here. It's clean air. So we might need to get Nick up. Oh shoot. As well. It's almost out of the yeah, nothing. Now uh, we'll just keep Hunter since he's in Oklahoma. Uh, we want to get as many uh, angles of the, the, the biggest performing storms as possible and then spread out our coverage whenever things kinda slow down. I don't know if we'll have a slower moment though from this point on. I think that um, it was the sun starting to set. The lower level uh, jet will kick in, and this will ramp up. Yup, yup. Um, we haven't even got to the main the risk, guys. Of the coverage here, uh, as Ed is, is eight. It's eight oh nine on the East Coast, seven Central. Uh, we've been going for three and a half hours. We will be here for several more hours as uh, this storm continues to blow up. A widespread, severe weather outbreak is currently underway from Texas to Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. A little bit of Kansas, Arkansas later. Um, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. Hey, Ryan, it's Chris. Uh, that storm that we were on that was coming towards St. Louis, it completely went off the track. It's moving more northeast now. I don't see anything that's really interesting about it outside of some large hail. Um, we're actually going to go north to probably old Jamestown. Um, watching that storm yeah, it's the gone. It's on its own. They're about to lift this warning, I bet. We're about to get, we're about to get out of the warnings if I had to. With the rest of them. All right, so that's Chris. He's saying that he's losing interest in our storm that's went through St. Louis. I think that that's a storm we definitely need to continue to watch it as it goes into Illinois, but it's certainly in a in a situation where it's not going to produce a tornado in the in the near future. I think that tornado warning for uh, Ferguson and Jennings should be allowed to expire very soon. Um, uh, severe thunderstorm warning is going to continue for Hamill, Warden, and Al. Alhambra in Illinois, so you guys need to get ready for some hail and some wind. But this is now becoming the superstar, the center of attention here uh, for us. Tornado us. warning so is lifted. Like really try to produce a tornado uh, near New Haven and Pickney. Yeah, I would definitely watch that one. That's about a. All of our storm chasers in St. Louis are probably going to try to rush over there to that one. Nick Gorman is on that storm, uh, so I think we're. We see what looks better. Soon. It'll be interesting to see if, um, I don't know if uh, Jordan um, or Freddy or any of these guys, I don't know if they're going to follow that storm or kind of sit around. Should I say none or zero? What well, looks better? On this one. Nah, none, none looks better. Freddy has given us a wonderful, oh my goodness, a wonderful. <laughs> of the Jeez, look at that hook. Over there in, uh, Madison County if that's Atlanta, velocity, oh, Washington, we're going to want to watch that one. Lewis. Just a really crazy looking storm. It looks kind of trash on radar, but man, it has incredible structure. Stockton, let's head down. Goofy storms. Jeez, us. Yeah, the, we're watching the Herman, Missouri storm right now. Yeah, no, we're watching. Delta here. Sucks, but I'm going to do my best to keep you guys updated. Is there a, a breathing noise? I don't know. Herman. Oh, yeah, there is. My bad. It's the video of the person. Somebody sent us a video of the storm. 
and I, that was playing in the background. My bad. That's what I was hearing. Close out of it. Is it done? Is it gone now? This Herman one's really sticking out. I'll turn it to your box, but I'm going to do my best to keep you guys updated. <laughs> there might be debris with that. I... <laughs> How long was that going? There, um... <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> if you're just now tuning in. 13. Um, we are watching a uh, storm that's really trying hard to produce. Right, let's here. go over these risks again. In Warrington, Missouri. Unfortunately, this one's going to come up towards St. Louis as well at some point. It's definitely got the velocity there. Producing a tornado right now, but it's really trying hard. Yeah, it really is. Storm chasers on the way. Jesus, that does not look good. It looks like there's a debris ball, honestly. And it, that looks. I would think there's a debris ball just if I looked at that. I couldn't I even hear it. Okay, so let's go. We're going to watch that, though. That could def It's one of those classic, like, oh, my God, it looks horrible, and then it's nothing. So, anyways, let's go over the risk zones again, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Kevin Harvick, have you seen the risks? If you haven't, you might be in for a shock. Okay. Oh. First moderate risk we've had in almost a year. This one is covering Oklahoma City, almost the whole state of Oklahoma. This is a line of storms that hasn't gone through yet. Now, no longer have any tornado warnings. The warning for St. Louis has been allowed to expire. The, the main line of storms hasn't even started yet, but the lower level jet should kick in and really help these storms go. Once it's because now it's getting dark, that'll help the storms go. It'll help them kick off and just take off. Jesus, look at the hail. Match if that's a tornado risk. Tomorrow, we have another big moderate risk. I expect this one to be increased around midnight. They're, they'll probably put another risk out. They might increase the tornado risk. 15% hatch risk for tornadoes, guys. This is big. 30% would mean a high risk. I don't think it's getting there. Like we've said, we've talked about this. There are people thinking it will. I don't think it will. Pretty crazy, guys. The north and west of Tulsa. There's some really crazy storms. This this one right here is is going to try to produce a tornado or at least some very strong straight line damaging winds in the Hominy area, Wyona, Oklahoma. Look at that convergence there. That is um. That is a powerhouse of a storm. Um, how many? Get ready. Uh, we do have a, um, uh, a severe thunderstorm warning for you, and it says uh, tornado possible. It's got that tag on it, so keep that in mind. Um, and then down here near Pawnee, we've got another area of uh, rotation that could be a problem as the sun is setting. Lower-level jet stream is getting more amped up. The ingredients are coming together now for this to theoretically Jeez. Um, switch from a hail only kind of yep. hail focus. This is what I said. Hail and tornado and damaging wind risk. Lots of uh, um, convective available potential energy out here. No, oh, that's going to hook there. If that. Oh, wow. This, this is trying to hook. This is. I don't think. I don't know if you guys see it here. Um, well, look at the hail. Notice how it comes here. And it makes a head there. Hold on. If I draw it out. This little complex of storms up here in North See East how East it's East coming East in here and it's gonna go like this. Oh, this is hooking. This will hook and be nasty. Excel in. Yeah, lots of shear. Some uh, of the areas where we have the most uh, convective uh, energy right now, um, we've got, if we can get a storm to pop up back here in southwest Oklahoma, that one's probably going to be pretty strong. Um, the storms in northeast Oklahoma have quite a bit of energy to work with. Um, 
We also have a, a pretty decent. We should of, be getting uh, a tornado uh, warning here in a second. In South Central, uh, if my so reports are right. Moving out of uh, um, St. Louis right now. Um, Soon. Even though it looks like they are trying to kind of die off a little bit and, and weaken, um, I wouldn't write them off completely. Gee. There's plenty of juice, pr plenty of energy for them. That's to, strong. Going to be strong like rotation if that comes together. Your pocket shaw. Do we stick on Mike Morgan here? Uh, up to baseball size hail. He's not New talking. Haven storm continues to look concerning. Rotation is getting more uh, prominent. Mesocyclones developing still has a big hook. Um, I would say that it, at some point we will probably see a tornado warning on this storm. Hopefully it weakens and we don't, but uh, that's probably coming at some point down the down the line here. Uh, Hyper King, thank you. Hey Ryan, thanks for what you do. My support is to the Y'all Squad. Also, how is Louisville, Kentucky looking? Um, yeah, so Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I think that the, you definitely got a chance for some storms tonight. Yeah, rotations but, coming um, together here. Uh, if it your best so chance of uh, significant what? severe weather is probably going to be tomorrow. So that side low to the weather tomorrow. I'll be here for you. Um, James, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, we should be, I think all the storm chasers are going to Ohio tomorrow, so there's going to be hundreds of them there. Um, uh, I am on a volunteer fire department. I have everything. If I were you, I would just use you, whatever resources you have to assist your fire department. Stop sharing my crap, dude. A place with an emergency or, you know, if people need rescue or something like that. Uh, okay, fact, so 11 here. For many people to storm chase at all anymore. But sometimes the, it's so popular the roads become congested with people trying to track down these things Fair and it's dangerous it's dangerous so I, I wouldn't do it I, I would not do it especially in a place like Ohio you know I, it's different I, sometimes in like Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas where there's so much road and so much space Ohio these storms are going to be going through town after town after town and, you know, there would be some places where the terrain e isn't even that good. There's some hills and stuff, and then the town, and then a river, and then a hill, and then a town. Dang, North. It's not going to be a pretty situation over there. We've got um, heavy rain outside. What, what's going on? Oh, okay. A little bit tiny blip. <laughs> and we've got some um, information from Andy. Go ahead, Andy. Thanks, Ryan. I'll go first. Elijah, you wait your turn a little bit here. Um, I think that our cell near Hominy, Oklahoma, that is the northern one northwest of uh, Tulsa, does look uh, very tornadic right now, unfortunately. Um, it's a, sort of a book and spin up kind of structure here, so I'm not sure this will be a long last a long lasting tornado. But that is one heck of a of a velocity signature. I'd be surprised if we do not see a tornado warning with this. It does look like um, one maybe ongoing now. Absolutely, uh, Wyona. You know, this is something that could probably uh, not last a long time. Oh wow! Here in Wyona. Highway what we were talking about. West of Wyona, watch out for that one. Um, uh, Elijah, go ahead. Hey, Ryan. So we have a report of 3.4 inch hail in Rome, Texas. And there is also uh, a light pole that was blown over in Chesterfield, along with a few trees that have uprooted. Okay. Missouri. Thank you, uh, very yep, much. tornado warning. Elijah, um, right on cue. Yeah, Ryan, I was going to add one more thing is that we now have a debris signature on the Hominy, Winona, Oklahoma uh, storm. So this is an unworn tornado ongoing oh, right yep. now right along um, State Road, County Road 90, 99. Is that correct? Yep. Uh, take a close look at that one. It's headed right into Winona, Oklahoma. And there's the tornado warning once again. Huge shout out to uh, meteorologist. Okay, let's go into chasing mode now, guys. Things out. You know, minutes ahead of time. Um, okay, so this is debris right here. See this circle right here? That is debris. It is hitting stuff that shouldn't be in the air. A new tornado warning has been issued. Uh, Ripped so it too. Oh, no. Okay, so it is growing. Next scan. Now it looks stronger, I believe, here. The debris signature is growing, and the rotation is also growing. So the rotation is getting stronger right here. 
Uh, it's orange, which only shows 47 on white. So it's showing 47, but what it's doing here, it's just kind of at a bad angle on the radar. Velocity signature, if I've ever seen one. A lot of times, uh, storms that come together like this one has, um, they don't. They don't usually last a long time, but we've Whoa. only seen it happen where they do. So, um, yep, it's still doing damage. About that. Uh, this one's just going on the ground for quite some time, and go ahead and take shelter in all of the places. This is just going, going, doing damage. North, 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 um, northwest of Tulsa, south of Winona. Are there homes on this road? Oh, no. uh, it is producing a tornado right now, causing West damage. West Perkins right now. That's going to move up Wyoming towards the still right. I'll definitely, when Mike Morgan goes back on this, we'll definitely go on it. Radar indicated um, uh, with that first warning, but they'll, if we get one more frame like this, they'll probably update that. They will probably update that. Hey, Ryan, it's Brown. I'm about to core punch this uh, Herman storm. Uh, so it is doing... Uh, windshield. Um, and I should be on the southeast side of it here in about probably 10 minutes or so. Brad Arnold is about to core punch um, the storm that looks, it still looks pretty impressive over there in Missouri. It's on its way over to St. Louis once again. Uh, he's going to give us an idea of how uh, okay, so the hail is in there, which it should still be pretty big. 12 warnings now. Uh, if you're just now tuning in, I do believe we have a tornado down uh, on the ground here. I'm so waiting for the next scan. I don't know what it did here. It might have oh, caught it kind of in a weird phase. It's halfway in between. Uh, Another rotation looks like it could be starting up here. This right here, though, this area of rotation. Uh, has the ability, like the, the, the environment. Very wide, holy cow. Uh, <laughs> Four mile wide so rotation. It's way too broad. It also could last a little while. Um, all the way up it's pretty wide. This is pretty uh, wide. Watching out for uh, this segment, this line of storms, or this 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 cluster of storms. I'm surprised it hasn't updated yet. With it, uh, for se uh, probably several hours as it goes up towards uh, uh, southeastern portions of Kansas. Also, the storms that are uh, you know You're Joplin uh, around Dallas and Fort Worth right now. Um, if those kind of float up a little bit uh, more, I'd watch that too. Valley, I think those are also going to be entering a pretty favorable environment. Uh, for um, you know potential tornadoes, um, and then I still think that the the storms that just passed St. Louis are decently um, primed to try to kind of reignite and maybe cause some more problems again with potential tornadoes in Illinois. It's not happening right now. Uh, New information. Yep, this observed. tornado warning has been upgraded. And we've got the confirmed uh, warning now. We're waiting on this one. It's been four minutes, so this thing could be gone or it could be big. We just kind of got to wait. I mean, this is just like a game of like cross your fingers because every second this gets, the more debris it could have. I don't see anything on these roads. But we need yeah. everybody in that town to be uh, sheltered, uh, preferably underground, because it also could come up. Hey, Ryan, this is Freddy. Side. I just got your message there. Um, I didn't see much as that supercell tracked through St. Louis there. There was a wall cloud, but I didn't see any funnel or any uh, like tight rotation as a track through there. And we're still on that storm. Oh, yep. Tracking into Illinois, but right now there's not really anything low. They changed some. They put another. Elevated. We're going to keep tracking it. They put like PDS on this, or? Okay, that was Freddy. Um, yeah, it's uh, coming together. It's, it's definitely coming together. Uh, scan. It looks like it is going it's getting bigger. Side of getting bigger. Um, Thankfully, so it missed Winona. That would have been bad. About uh, Pershing, Nelligoni, and Wool Woolerock in Oklahoma. You guys are next in line. Are these homes yeah, here? Yep. All of these places right now. Thankfully, it's uh, kind of the middle of nowhere. This is the storm that is in the best position to produce a tornado. It's producing a tornado. The, of the storm is not the greatest. If this was a supercell, it would probably be a long track one. It would probably cause a lot of problems. This one still has the ability to cause a lot of problems. Um, but hopefully, the, the mode of the storm here will kind of disrupt the flow that is necessary to produce a tornado because the environment out in front of this is really primed uh, for tornadoes. So... Uh, we've also got um, uh, some more storms popping up a little bit to the south and west that I want to talk about here in a minute. But uh, Andy, More towards some more. Let's see what he says. Yeah, Ryan, briefly, I want to talk about um, Denton County in Texas. Uh, this supercell here has produced a 3.4-inch hailstone. Jesus. So hailstone. 
uh, and it's if you look at where the the supercell is, it's right on that southern tip of uh, the supercell. So it's right in the hook, and that just goes to show like every part of the storm is very dangerous with extremely large hail. Um, you might look at the radar yourself here near Denton or to the south of Denton, right where I-35 splits is where it's going over. Uh, the We're breaking the action and across like, southern oh, Oklahoma. That's the worst part of the storm. We're almost out of it. And it crushes your windshield right there with the three-inch hailstone. So uh, please uh, take proper shelter out in front of the storm due to the huge hail falling. Uh, we may see an upgrade to a, a destructive severe thunderstorm due to that uh, hail report there. Absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, meteorologist Andy Hill. We've got a uh, huge hail moving into the northern side this go, of this the DFW area. We're talking about flower oh, mound. Debris Colony, starting to go away. The village, Louisville, the colony. Um, we have an official report from a um, uh, from the public here. 3.4 inch hailstone um, uh, it measured east of Rome. Um, Elijah told us about this. Now we're seeing it pop up here on uh, on, on on our app and. Um, yeah, I think that this storm is... Yeah, the debris is starting to go down. As it goes to the south of Denton. Also, we just got an official severe thunderstorm warning for Fort Worth. Uh, you're included in this. So is Arlington and Burleson. It's 27. It's uh, considerable severe. 65 mile an hour winds. And, uh, it's coming together, and it looks like it might occlude. The thing is, like he said, this is just way too many storms. It's kind of a storm here, storm here, storm here, and it looks like a storm here. So it's just kind of cutting off everything this one needs. Get ready. What about Elmer Rolly? What? Yeah. Major, major like we said. Storm here, um, between oh. Winona and Barnstall, Oklahoma. See? Oh, it's still Thankfully, there. Thankfully, this seems like a relatively it's rural going away. area. Um, but still, there, there's a nasty tornado going on in there. And uh, it's rain-wrapped. You can't see it. It's getting dark. This is a dangerous situation for any residents that might be in the path of this uh, storm as it approaches uh, Barnstall. I, I would also be hyper, hyper uh, weather aware in Bartlesville. This is, uh, you're way downstream here, but if this thing can maintain its balance uh, for a little while, this might be a problem for people near Bartlesville. So uh, keep that in mind. I think it'll go north of Barnstall. Let's hope. If it doesn't, we could see a tornado, PDS tornado, tornado emergency. If the debris keeps up, I, that's speculation. But there's a chance. Man, that's this little pesky storm just don't want to give up. Okay. All right. Um, so I think we're about to see uh, a lot of probably uh, some more tornado warnings here. So before we get too deep in the weeds, I do want to mention uh, we just got a new member, Carrie Joe. Thank you so much for becoming a slight risk member, and thank you to everybody who's become a slight risk member. Let's play the national radar remember, while we have a um, second too. We're gonna go do the the solar eclipse. We're gonna go do the so we're gonna go to the solar eclipse and do a live stream of that whole experience, and members only can experience it with us uh, in the members only part of YouTube. So uh, super excited about that. And I also want to remind you, if you guys remember me talking about Vizzy Solar, um, the, the, the glasses that you can wear. Uh, Look at these fire up here. The sun during the eclipse. Today is the last day. Okay, today is the last day that you can The 10%, wear a, a few 10% hasn't bust so, uh, before, please, but this one's actually in a decent area. Wow, look at that. Glasses. That is pretty cool. Heard, a lot of them are going out of stock in, in, in places. Vizzy Solar. Okay, we you can just see them fire up here. If you want to do right kind of over I was, here I was reminded they fire up talk about that because some people and they head north that's where we are now and you can really see these just keep firing 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 they kind of stop here but it's pretty impressive still uh, we do have one tornado warning we're watching it it looks very uh, oh wow impressive, to say the least on radar um, and it could be coming right towards the Barnsdall area And outside of that, we got a ton. I said a ton of severe thunderstorm warnings. Some other places to watch out for um, tornado potential. This storm north of Springfield is one to watch. Uh, right now, it's just a huge hail maker. Let's see how much hail this thing's dropping. Huge hail maker. Damn! What in the uh, and, world? Uh, we, we've got potentially look at this hook. Mile an hour winds and <laughs> golf ball size hail moving up towards Camdenton uh, and oh, Lewisburg just updated in Missouri. But see what's going to Barnstall. Not good. Here. 
We want to keep a very close eye on that. The breeze about gone here, though. Um, uh, beyond that, the storm that Brad Arnold is on, of course, is still a concern. Um, it's ro it's rotating a lot. I mean, like we've got, you know, a, a big, broad rotating mesocyclone here. It's not producing a tornado yet, but it could. As it approaches St. Louis, so once again, Wentz. Okay, let's go with the risk. Yeah, this is 10. 10. Was I? I knew this one wasn't gonna bust. All the one stupid ones that bust are the ones that would be like here, like something like that. It's La Nina year, so it it can't. They don't really bust that often. Or they bust often. I mean, in La Nina years down there, just because they often don't get enough humidity and stuff, so they always kind of turn out pretty lame. Wow, that's a lot of stuff around this area this is a big risk tomorrow again even a bigger risk we're gonna watch this one 15 percent spring i keep forgetting springs in full effect by this time last year we had march 31st and rolling fork had already happened both the f4 both the f4s were already done at this point last year we had a tornado with this velocity couplet that has since uh it's dissipated and now we're probably going to see a new area of rotation kind of pop up here um, and um, that's going to bring us to uh, likely another tornado this is likely going to be a cyclical um, situation where we have maybe multiple tornadoes coming out of the same storm as it approaches Barnsdall um, oh, Ochoada and Bartlesville y'all please uh, take shelter crazy now, risk this looks like the most serious storm of the day so far um, Chris Hall reached out hey, to Ryan us rotation coming right over my head. oh where Okay, let's pull up Brad. Uh, Arnold There's a Cannon. funnel on the right side of the screen. We've got a funnel on the right side of the screen. This is a live view from uh, Missouri. This is the storm that is moving towards St. Louis, but is currently um, near Pitney. Got a funnel on that one. Okay. This is Brad Arnold here. Camera, and we heard from Chris yep, as well. Brad let's Arnold. See what he's got. Chris see what he's pulling up here. Wow, that is creepy. So pretty warm, a lot of humidity. Temperatures steadily dropping, humidity steadily rising, which helps. Pressure is going crazy. The viewers just. Jeez, that's la that looks scary. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of you guys who just went through the whole situation of being under a tornado. Gee. A new PDS severe um, thunderstorm warning. Oh, I thought that was a tornado. I thought that was a tornado warning for a second. My heart was like, oh shoot, we got PDS. Uh, we, we also now have a new uh, PDS severe thunderstorm warning, a destructive severe thunderstorm warning for Dallas County, Missouri, Polk County, Missouri. Don't don't scare me like that. Come on, NWS. Holy smokes. And that's going to be for this massive storm here, Buffalo, Lebanon, uh, I, Missouri. You're under a, once again, a PDS, a particularly, a particularly dangerous situation. You can, you can see the hook on it. Let's see the hook on it. Uh, tornado possible with this storm. But the main thing is the whoa, whoa, wins. holy it's baseball time again for the fifth time today. I oh, that's that's gonna produce a uh, very real chance of seeing uh, baseballs coming from the sky. What am I uh, hearing? Getting blown around at up to 70 miles per hour. That's an extremely dangerous situation. Uh, we've got to get into shelter. You've got to treat this as if it's a tornado warning. If you're in halfway Buffalo or Lewisburg, um, Missouri, you got to get to shelter now, especially get away from windows. That's going to be for Dallas and Polk County, Missouri, once again. Um, back over here to the storm that Brad Arnold is on. Um, we saw what looked like a funnel there for a moment uh, on his stream, and I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is this thing is still, it looks like it could be producing uh, so enough rotation to maybe uh, warrant that. Um, and it looks like it's trying to organize even more as it goes. You see what Brad so got? We're, we're watching very closely. In New Mail, Wentzville, and Lake St. Louis, uh, for another uh, potentially tornadic supercell to come through. Now, 15 severe thunderstorm warnings. Are right. Guys, like we said, as it gets into night, these are going to ramp up. Can we get? Can we please not get a night tornado? Like it feels like every event this year has been in the night, which I'm not complaining. Then I have time to actually get. Oh shoot, he's in it. Get time to like stream it, but really concerned about Wool, Wool Rock and uh, Torpedo, and eventually, guys, seriously, uh, Bartlesville, 
Oklahoma. This is a pretty populated area up here in northeastern Oklahoma. <laughs> There's a hook, this I think. thing is coming right for you, okay? The, the storm is capable of producing a tornado. It is he on the hook? Is this literally hooking onto him here? For a little while longer, too. So, Bartlesville, get ready. That might be a hook. I don't know. Um, I'm also concerned about the tornado pro possibility with the, the, the destructive uh, severe thunderstorm. Um, right now, still nothing uh, really crazy on velocity, okay? But, once again, looking at the environment out in front of it, it looks pretty favorable. If, if this thing can strike a balance, it might try to rotate enough to produce a tornado at some point during its uh, trip over to Lebanon and the I-44 corridor here in south uh, central Missouri. All right, this one's got a lot of energy, and it could try to produce a tornado at some point this evening. This is the time of day where it's really going to start. All of these storms are going to have a better opportunity or ability. Hey, Ryan, I'm actually going to point to my east. I want you guys just to see how black the sky is. This is Let's see this. Dark. It's one of the darkest skies I've seen in a long time. This is wild. Uh, so this is a, a line. Can we not lag, please? Storm chaser Brad Arnold of the dark skies. Jeez, that are can't even. With right when we got to see, of course, it lags. The big well, storm over there. West pretty of annoying. That he's on. And look, by the way, look, just look at the uh, multi-view here. It's the same time of day pretty much everywhere here. But uh, Brad and Chris's, uh, you know, streams look remarkably uh, darker than everybody else's. And they're right in the same general area there. So, Oh, is this damage here? Let's go back. To Shingles blown off. I think a tornado went through here. Maybe it did. It continues to look impressive. Like we've got... We've got a rotating storm here. It's it might try to produce a tornado. We're Still got observed tornado. I keep forgetting that we do. Oh whoa! No correlation coefficient. Um, the two areas that I'm most concerned about, though, I don't get me wrong. This storm has the that's doing some goofy stuff. We're watching it, but man, it's much more of a concerning uh, feeling uh, looking at the environment. Well, shoot. I actually shut him off. My bad. We're about getting that. Yep. Great. Be quiet. Um, this. A bit of a cycle right now. I don't think it's currently producing a tornado. I could be wrong about that. So we need to stay in our safe spot in Wooler Rock. Um, but man, uh, this thing has the potential to really try to uh, produce a, a tornado as it goes, uh, goes up towards uh, uh, Bartlesville. So get ready to take shelter up there. Yeah, it looks like it's going away here. What are you saying, bro? Yeah, this rotation's dying off, I'd say. Crazy hook. Yeah, it looks like it's also dying off. We'll go back to it. If Andy says anything on it, we'll definitely learn. How many people live here? I love, I love clicking on the counties and seeing how many people live there. We got a new severe thunderstorm watch. Oh wow, this is going all the way into Ohio. Ninety-five percent chance of a watch. Possible tonight. Scattered hail up to two inch, uh, and scattered wind gusts up to. Is this tornado? Per hour. That's going to include Indianapolis and Cincinnati. And this is for those oh, wait, uh, I can hit training storms along the warm front. You're, no front way. Front. If you hit control F, you can see front. And no one told me this. Oh, my. Now I learn. Oh, wait, that's actually kind of cool. Hold up. You can hit control F and it shows the front. You can see a frontal boundary. Low pressure. Well, that's. I wish I knew that earlier. Yeah, the Vizzy Solar Glasses for the Solar Eclipse, they're made in the USA. Super, like, it's hard to, I mean, it's hard to mess up a pair of Solar Eclipse glasses, but, like, they're definitely the best ones that I've seen. That rotation's dying off, I'd say. Yeah, it's definitely dying off. It's still observed? They haven't...
Look at this. Oh. Large hail from Rome, Texas. Robert, thanks for sending this in. That's that's some very large hail there. Uh, and Andy's got something for us. Go ahead, Andy. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, Ryan, I'm looking at the severe destructive storm in southwest Missouri. It's headed into Buffalo, uh, Missouri at the moment. In New Dallas tornado County. warning. I'm seeing that that rear flank Did is they just extend forward. it? Uh. I don't see any uh, low-level rotation or even much of a mid-level rotation on that yet. But what I do see is the potential for, um, again, those very uh, tough wind-driven baseballs that could do a lot of damage if this... Uh, Part of the storm continues to punch out forward as it enters Buffalo. This is doing forward. some weird uh, so stuff. That's my primary concern right now with this location. I yeah, no. We could get uh, quite a bit of um, what in the. Okay, thank you very much, Andy. Uh, a new tornado warning has been issued. Tornado warning back in Oklahoma. We're gonna take a look at that. That includes Bartlesville. So this is just a continuation of the tornado warning that we've been tracking in Oklahoma. Now Bartlesville, you're officially in uh, the warning. So I would advise you to please take shelter. I don't know. Place. I'm going to watch this if it gets tighter. This doesn't seem tight enough to produce something. I'm most concerned about this one. Um, now, uh, I'm also very concerned about it's getting tighter. Was just talking about. We've got baseball size hail falling out of this thing. And we're seeing what he called the RFD surge. You see how the, this part of the storm is kind of bulging out like this. Uh, we've got very strong winds pushing this way. Uh, very strong, A lot of hail is falling out into that RFD surge and then getting kind of like uh, pushed almost as like a wall uh, in, in this part of the storm here that's going to be coming towards Buffalo. So a wall of wind, rain, and hail um, that could be extremely damaging. Is about Don't tell me we have another. Uh, yep, three tornado warnings. Buffalo, uh, Oklahoma, oh. I'm sorry, Missouri. And Reynolds, Cloverdale, and Windyville. They just dropped the warning. Well. Uh, you guys need to be uh, watching on that. this as it looks like it's about to be a very serious situation there uh, unfolding in Missouri. This storm eventually is going to try to produce a tornado. Okay, it just is. Um, a new tornado, a tornado warning, warning has been issued. Um, so uh, now uh, all those places I just named off, you're under a tornado warning as well. Um, Lebanon, Phillipsburg, Evergreen, all the way over to Adam Ford and Clark Ford and Lynchburg, Missouri. You guys are all. Uh, it looks like it could try and hook. Uh, once again, again I don't see. I don't, I don't see anything in there. Honestly, it look, just looks like a mess. It's gonna happen at some point. It's just at what point in this warning box will it happen? Um, if it's in your neck of the woods, you might as well be in uh, your safe spot. You're gonna wish you were if you don't get there now. Um, uh, back to the uh, uh, Oklahoma storm, our rotation is still pretty broad here. We're, it, we've lost the, the balance that we had back uh, to the south and west of Barnesdall. Um, but the whole thing is still trying to come together, and it will likely produce another tornado, maybe, um, as it gets near our Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Go ahead, Andy. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, this time south of Fort Worth, Texas, the spin-up. Uh, or rather the line of storms is entering the south metro here and as it does i'm starting to see a couple of areas that could be uh, fostering some quick spin-up tornadoes especially near joshua and godly on the the southern uh, rotation that's evident there has quickly spun up over the last frame which they are four or five minutes apart uh, if the radar operators for kfws are watching if we could get it in sales mode that would be really good uh, and help us godly information quickly as quickly as possible but i uh, just want to let you know ahead of time that that has no now, not um, not there it's got spin up tornadoes so y'all watch out ahead of time oh wow Northern yep Johnson for sure county texas southern tarrant county texas as this line moves through so is it just unbatted very much yeah uh, definitely meteorologist andy hill drawing our attention to the areas once again just south of fort worth near claiborne uh, oh that, uh, signature right there is uh, potentially a problem could be uh, a tornado trying to form here near Joshua. Get ready in Marystown and Keene. Uh, for that, you guys are also under a uh, severe thunderstorm warning with inch and a half hail and 65 mile per hour winds possible. I would say there's ev going to be a couple places that see even higher winds than that with the um, uh, with the pocket of uh, increased velocity that we're seeing there approaching Joshua and Keene. Big storm coming into Fort Worth as well. The northern side of the warning here. Y'all get ready for that. Some hail is almost guaranteed as uh, this moves through the downtown area. It does look like at some point this line here will impact downtown Dallas as well. Yeah, it's Today definitely coming together. It, Let's uh, see. Continues, uh, down the line. Tornado warning. Out <laughs> Smallest CC drop ever. Uh, Lebanon, 
Okay, uh, Missouri, this storm right here is looking nasty on radar. Let's see if it's starting to come together. For me, it didn't look like... It's uh, looking more and more impressive here. We've got a little bit of a... Oh, yeah, it's going to come up trying to if it's right there. It might not be long before this is uh, planting a tornado down uh, somewhere north of Buffalo and west of Windyville, uh, Missouri. It's going to go towards <laughs> Lebanon and... Uh, going to go uh, right towards these towns. Carroll Junction and Harrell Ford. Do we get another tornado okay. warning? I get rid Jesus. Of and then I do want to... I just keep having to go back here to this Bartlesville storm because I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the next... Another break. tornado. We're at four warnings now. We're getting there, there, guys. When this big red blob here gets real close to the big green blob here and we see the velocity couplet, the bright colors form right in the middle. These two are coming together. We're probably going to have our next uh, tornado here. And, and unfortunately, it looks like it could happen right near Bartlesville. So hopefully everybody in Bartlesville is um, in their safe spot. Get to shelter now if you are in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. A dangerous storm. A new tornado warning. warning has been issued. We got a new tornado warning now in Texas. There it is. Um, the exact storm that um, Andy was just talking about. Once again, Andy, uh, magnificent job today calling these Hold out up. before the warnings are even issued. South and west of Joshua, we've got that um, uh, rotation uh, now prompting the National Weather Service to issue a, a tornado warning uh, for Joshua, Marystown, um, Egan, uh, Happy Hill. They just uh, took the moderate uh, risk off today, guys. Present Point and Lillian. Um, this does not include, uh, you know, either of the downtown Fort Worth or Dallas areas, but it's on the southern side. Uh, that's going to be in Dallas County. They just uh, took the moderate risk off today. I'm sorry. Not this hasn't updated County. yet. It's still it's showing a moderate Johnson risk for County, Texas. I'm sorry. Uh, Johnson County, Texas, you're under a Yep, it's one. gone. The moderate risk now, is gone. Looks like a very concerning. Now I got to change the thumbnail. Oh, my. At the uh, velocity. So Bruh. this could produce some damage here if, if we get some ground contact as it moves towards Marystown. Speaking of Dallas and Fort Worth, you've got a strong storm coming towards you as well. The tornadic part is well to the south of the downtown areas, but hail, wind, all that's going to be possible over the next couple of hours in Fort Worth, Arlington, and Dallas. Get ready. Uh, I want to go back up to our tornado warning in Missouri. Things are getting quite busy now. As you can tell, uh, we're, we're going to be jumping around a lot. Storm moving into Buffalo now still looks incredibly dangerous. Huge hail likely uh, battering down on uh, Buffalo and areas just north. Some extremely large hair hail is also going to be possible here in the next few minutes in Tilden and Windyville. That's so lame, bro. Remember, we're talking about I did all that. I made that whole thumbnail just for... Hailstones, probably even some three-inch oh hailstones. And now it's uh, back? That's going to cause big damage. That's going to cause some, uh, you know, a lot of damage. This is what we're talking about. Bro, what's going on? Okay. Bro, so what? Here, I update for, for you. Go ahead, Riley. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw our latest outlook from the SPC. For some reason, it seems like Discord's having funky issues with embedding, but the moderate risk for today is canceled. And then as far as tomorrow event goes, the HRRR is trending where we're no longer seeing uh, a really strong moisture recovery that was once modeled. Oh my so that means that tomorrow's event might be slightly less severe than what we thought. That's so be, lame, bro. still definitely going to be significant. All right. Let's take a look at that um, update here to the Storm Prediction Center uh, outlook. Uh, once again, like uh, Riley just said, uh, no more moderate risk. Um, looks like cloud cover and rain showers really dampened some of the uh, storm growth in central Oklahoma, um, where I guess some of the, the larger hail was expected. But we certainly have seen no um, – <laughs> we haven't seen any shortage of hail today with these storms. Uh, but it's important to note that the hail part – that a new tornado watch over. has been issued. And we expected it to be over at this time anyway, right? Now we're transitioning over to more fair. of the uh, tornado threat, which uh, they did maintain that 10% hatched risk of a tor tornadoes from uh, southeastern portions of Oklahoma up into central Missouri. Okay, so this is what we're going to be focused on for the rest of the evening. Um, and then as far as tomorrow goes, I don't think we've gotten an update on that outlook uh, given the most recent um, data. But as of right now, we still have that moderate risk up there in um, uh, Ohio. 15% hatched risk of tornadoes up there, rare. Um, and then big wind risk as well and hail risk all the way down into Kentucky and Alabama and Tennessee. 
So that's what we're talking about tomorrow. Uh, we'll likely be here tomorrow, despite you know the small changes in the uh, intricacies of the forecast. This is going to be a big storm for somebody tomorrow. We just haven't nailed down the exact um, you know areas yet. So. Uh, make sure you guys are tuning in tomorrow. If you live over here in the Ohio Valley, it's going to be a big time storm. One is lifting near Dallas Fort Worth. Classic supercell here near Buffalo, Missouri. Um, Andy's got something for us. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, Ryan. This was me. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> So we, the Dallas uh, NOAA weather radio is currently offline. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you uh, so much for that. So it's even more important now uh, to, you know, if this you one seems to be weakening to me, in the general Dallas area, especially down here near where that uh, tornado warning is, uh, it's more important than ever to try to get this information out to them via word of mouth or by sharing it on social media or whatever. You know, weather radio very rarely goes offline, um, but when it does, that, that that's a big deal because a lot of people depend on that uh, to get warnings. So let's make sure everybody down here, uh, regardless of, uh, you know, how long the, the outage lasts there or with the Dallas uh, Forecast Center uh, transmitter, uh, but let's make sure everybody knows about the tornado warning currently in Johnson County, Texas. Storm still cycling up here at, uh, near Bartlesville. Hopefully, it looks like the the biggest part of the storm, the rotation, is going to move past. Oh shoot! I screwed me. Before it uh, starts producing another tornado, you're still about to get a huge storm in Bartlesville with some strong winds and, and hail. So get ready for that. But I think the rotating part is going to wait until it gets past you to produce another tornado. Now I'm worried about Delaware uh, and Lenape. Okay, up here in northeastern. Um, uh, Oklahoma. I just retweeted the uh, latest SBC outlook for tomorrow if you guys want to see that. Uh, we're going to check in on our storm here. So the, the storm that was uh, looking really impressive over towards uh, Jefferson City is looking a little less impressive now as that it gets closer to St. Louis and Wentzville. We still got a severe thunderstorm warning for Wentzville, O'Fallon, and St. Paul. But um, it's it's quite a bit smaller and weaker, and it's certainly not rotating as much anymore. So um, hopefully that trend continues as it moves on off to the east. Um, definitely a uh, more robust storm way back here towards uh, Buffalo. Man, that is a... That's a classic uh, Supercell hook echo if I've ever seen one. Yeah, seeing lots of uh, pictures from of the very large hail near Rome, Texas. Yeah, one of the reasons why, um, you know, I'm concerned about the storm uh, particular here in uh, southwest Missouri is because the environment in front of it does look pretty favorable for tornadoes. And unlike the Bartlesville storm here, there's not a there's not a storm that's interfering with it. It's not it doesn't have the uh, uh, the near term possibility of becoming multicellular or linear or any mergers, you know, kind of uh, impacting it. 
So this is the kind of storm on a day like today that you really have to lock in on and, and, and hope that it just weakens out or enters an area of less favorable, um, uh, you know, cape or something like that. Because as far as shear goes and uh, other parameters that would support tornadoes, there's plenty of it out there in front of that storm. New tornado warning. And it uh, looks like some new storms. Oh, yeah. Some new storms are firing now in southwestern Oklahoma, uh, which is, once again, an area that we talked about before. Just an extension. We saw some convection here. It's probably these storms are going to grow pretty significantly and, and pretty fast. And uh, they, these are also going to be entering an environment that are very that's very favorable for hail and maybe even tornadoes. New tornado warning. A new tornado warning has been issued. They have uh, continued the Bartlesville tornado warning all the way out to Delaware and Nowata and Cody's Bluff, Oklahoma. Y'all need to be uh, in your safe spots now. Again, I've been talking about this for a while. Uh, it's probably just going to take a moment for it to get its act together, but the storm is very likely, um, uh, you know, in a, in a good position to try to produce another. I'm just going to watch this one, honestly. So it could happen near Nowata, Oklahoma, and if you live there, you want to make sure you're in your safe spot when it does. Just need the hook to come together more. It, it you know, you know how it is. It annoys me they dropped the moderate. That really bugs me. I had it looking so nice. I can keep it. This one is also fatty. Uh, I think they're gonna probably drop that wrist pretty soon. I don't see anything happening there. This is stuff. This has come together. Some updates here. Is this finally updated yet? Also, trying to see. Nope. Um, come on. What other uh, chasers we have out there as we kind of continue to move around the map here with where we're focusing? Uh, if you are just now tuning in, we do have a all-star team of professional storm chasers helping us, giving us views of the storms on the ground as they uh, happen. It's getting dark, so it's getting harder to see. We got someone coming on this. Who is it? Um, but, Don't. Uh, lightning. Brent. That's one thing I do. Illuminate, uh, the Brent and Copic. Let's see the next scan before we go to him. Um, we've got currently a few tornado warnings, uh, and I want to go uh, through each of them with you. We've got one here south yeah. of Dallas. No way. Um, and that the rotation that originally uh, sparked that warning, I believe, has led up quite a bit. But we do have a, 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 a storm that's capable, sorry, of producing a tornado moving up towards Lillian, Venus, and uh, Mansfield, Texas. So y'all should uh, take shelter uh, if you can. Uh, Fort Worth, you've got a big storm coming through right now. That's going to continue into Arlington, bring an inch and a half hail and 60 mile per hour winds over the next little bit. The storms up here to the north of Dallas uh, have dropped a lot of hail. Like this is where we've seen some of those really big hail reports, some three, uh, three and a half inch hail uh, reports uh, close to soft. This is a bad spot. Uh, you know, size hail in some of these places. Uh, the, the, those storms have really died off a lot as they passed Denton. Um, in fact, they're all below severe limits at this point. Um, up here, the farthest east severe warning we have right now is just to the west of Indianapolis, uh, where we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for um, uh, Gr Green Castle. Inch and a half hail possible with that one. Storm approaching St. Louis is still rotating. It still looks like a cute little supercell here on radar, but it's nowhere near the monster it was uh, about, you know, 50 to 100 miles to the west. So that continues and it continues to weaken. I'll tell you what's not weakening, though, um, and it's our monster of a storm here near Lebanon. 
Uh, reflectivity here um, over the last little bit has cooled down a little bit, uh, but I believe that this thing's going to try its best to continue for quite some time as it approaches Lebanon and the I-44 corridor uh, over there near Harold Ford and Gas. Yeah, I can see it coming together. Or I'm sorry, Gas Gozark. Hope I'm. I hope I said that right. Bartlesville storm. Pretty intense in Bartlesville right now. Um, rotation area has kind of shot down to here, south of Hogshooter. We'll see if um, that's going to continue up towards Nowata, okay? Oh, and would you look at that? Surprise, surprise. Uh, some decent rotation showing up on this storm south and east of Hominy now. Look at this. This is uh, separate from, from Ryan, the storm in Bartlesville. Um, but, uh, yeah, look at that. That looks like it could also be a problem here. So let's Another one in the same spot. Morgan's corner. Who did I just hear from? Ryan, this is Zach. Do you have a copy? Yeah, what's up, Zach? It's Zach Hall. Another Hall, not related. Hey, man. No, I haven't been super active today. I just spoke with Riley. I'm on a lone supercell now in eastern Oklahoma. I stayed back today because I like the tornado threat here uh, more than central Oklahoma. I just want to let you know it's around 20 miles to my southwest. So watching that head my way right now, I'm near Stigler, Oklahoma. Okay. All right. So Zach Hall is out there. Uh, we should probably add him to the roster um, uh, as we take a look at that storm it is uh, looking to me uh, like that storm probably doesn't have much of a chance of, um, of producing anything in the near term but if it sticks around long enough I'm gonna watch this one up north this one up north uh, an environment that where did it go oh right here tornadoes there. yeah watch that one how's the north one looking just messy as crap. It's 801. Again, that's four minutes ago. This is 805. It does not look good. When this updates, this got to be showing something or else I've about lost all hope in this one. Because I, I, I really don't see anything there. I, I, know you, I don't know about y'all, but I don't. Uh, go ahead, Elijah. Hey Ryan, so we have a couple of reports uh, from the Chesterfield storm. There are several trees that have been, All right. uh, that are downed, and there is one that is reported to be splintered and snapped. Okay, thank you very much, Elijah, for uh, bringing us that information. We were talking about that storm uh, not too long ago. Uh, very uh, evident on radar that something was going on there, and now we're starting to hear the... Uh, the ground truth. A new tornado warning has there been it issued. Is a new tornado warning for the storm. Uh, now it's Washington. gone. Um, down here near Hominy, we just pointed out the uh, rotation on that one. Honestly, now that the warning is issued, the rotation looks less impressive. Um, but it's it's in that same kind of environment that the storm to the north is. It has the ability to produce a tornado. It's going to continue to have the ability to produce a tornado all the way through the warned area. So Barnes Doll, you guys are under a tornado warning again. Get to shelter now. We're up to six. Tornado warnings. We got one down there in Texas. A couple in um, uh, Oklahoma. And we've got one in Missouri. And the Missouri storm is actually looking a lot less impressive now. Surprisingly. We'll see how long that lasts. South of Dallas, I expect this one to be lifted. <sighs> yeah, I expect that to be lifted. Um, Gabriella says, how's eastern Kentucky looking? Especially this one is coming together. I gotta say, it's starting to come together here. Personally, I think that uh, Louisville's in, in the western part of eastern Kentucky, at least, you know. No, but it's it's like you're under a there's a chance for some storms tonight, a much bigger chance for some storm to, for some big storms tomorrow. We'll be here tomorrow talking about Louisville, Cincinnati, that area.
Yeah, these storms are headed in the general direction of Joplin. Um, uh, some people were asking about that. Uh, I know we got people watching in Joplin. Obviously, there's people oh, Vardo. concerned about tornadoes in Joplin. Um, I, I don't think that we have anything too too crazy to be concerned about but yeah these storms are powerful they're capable of producing tornadoes and they will continue to likely be capable of producing tornadoes by the time they make it up there to you um so we're going to keep an eye on them for you Yep, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, that'll be the uh, the area that we talk about tomorrow. We're not talking about y'all today because we've got tornadoes going on out west, and we've got to focus on that. We'll be here all day talking about uh, uh, the Ohio Valley tomorrow. Ten and three. Nothing too much going on right now. Kind of a lull. Yeah, we've actually had a lot of wind reports today, a lot of hail reports. This is going to be a uh, uh, definitely a classic severe weather outbreak. Getting uh, continually more concerned uh, with uh, this little area right here to the west of Delaware. We've got to watch it closely. We'll give it a couple more frames before we start really thinking about what that could mean. But it lines up perfectly with a new little hook trying to form on this line here. Um, same thing for uh, this. Uh, the, the rotation is starting to look a little bit more uh, ample. Uh, to the west of Skiatook in Oklahoma. Yeah, watch these, that. These three storms right here are not ones you want to mess with in, in today's environment. The tornado warning over here in uh, Missouri has been allowed to expire. I'm very, I'm very surprised. Very surprised that this massive supercell has went from this to this uh, in such a short period of time with seemingly uh, nothing causing it. Uh, you know, um, that would be blatantly obvious just from looking at the composite reflectivity. So we'll see if that uh, recycles. We'll see if it, we get new uh, convection that forms on the uh, southwestern side. If so, those are going to be storms that we have to be very concerned about. Areas where uh, storms have the ability to rotate right now would be in and around uh, central Missouri up towards uh, St. Louis, but that, that is a fleeting window. Um, a better uh, area, of the most primed area, in my opinion, for potential tornadoes is going to be from around uh, the you know Tulsa area um, over up towards Joplin, um, but that could change. Um, and then also we've got a couple of pockets of uh, you know interesting uh, dynamics uh, around Dallas. Oh wow, and, this and looks the new storms that are popping up back towards Lawton. Um, wow, well, this one looks like you got to watch uh, this. A pretty unique ability to start rotating here soon too. The Dallas tornado warning. It's still there. Um, and the original area of rotation has dissipated. Uh, but now, it looks like a new area of rotation is popping up here right inside of that warning. So we might have another tornado trying to form uh, somewhere to the south of Midlothian, Texas. Look at that. Big surge of wind coming. What's out up, racing? Here, if that can kind of get mixed. All right, let's go down here. So they were talking about a new one in Dallas. They've kept this warning up going for a long Could time. See a tornado trying to form right there. I don't know if I see where he's talking about. 
all right here, right on the corner. I'd be watching out if I'm in, once again, Midlock. Hey, Ryan, it's Chris. You got a copy? Ward, Britain, Cedar Hill, or DeSoto. Chris is coming through. What's up, Chris? We just get 807. Okay, that's a bit ago. We are in Alton. I think we're still in the game. Uh, we're right on the state line, if it is. Um, just to the south of Alton. I think West Alton. It's right on the uh, river here. Um, watching this storm that's coming up through Old Fallon, just to the north or to the northwest of St. Louis. I'm gonna give this one a shot. You know, if it if it tries something here in the next little bit, you know, we'll be here for it. I think afterwards, I think we're gonna start moving to the east to get in position for tomorrow's storms. Um, but yeah, that it's coming right up towards us right here. Am I just not um, seeing? Am I blind? Another shot for it if uh, no, I can't talk. Try to give it another shot and see if oh, it may. Uh, it was the boundary if it tries to do it again right around the. Oh well, yeah, uh, I could. River. Sounds good. That's Chris Hall's plan. So we're going to stick with him as he explores the storm that's uh, over there around St. Louis. This one's getting stronger. Rotation here north of Delaware. Still oh, yeah, definitely concerning. getting stronger. Tornado warning is in effect. Make sure you guys are in your safe spots. Severe thunderstorm warning now for the storm that Zach Hall is on. And we've got him. We've got Zach Hall up now. So once again, all of the storms, man. We've, we've got them all covered here. Huge shout out to Michaela Turner for the very generous $20 super chat. How's Robinson, Illinois looking? I don't know where that is. But I will look it up for you. Thank you for the support. Robinson... Illinois. Right now, it's looking like there's some storms to the north. Um, nothing crazy. You are under a severe one near Kansas City. There shouldn't be anything. Be a couple rounds of storms that come there's not much near Kansas City, dude. Be honest with you, there. About nothing. About open air. This one out here, though, is a big one. Delaware tonight is going to be flooding. If you live in a flood-prone area, make sure you are paying attention to that. Two and two. Uh, is Central Ohio going to be okay? Yeah, Central Ohio is going to be just fine. There's a chance of some severe storms tomorrow with a higher than usual risk of tornadoes. We don't know the exact details on that just yet. Um, it look, you know, earlier model runs looked like we could have, we could have a, uh, you know, a pretty significant tornado situation. Um, but that'll waffle back and forth. We'll, we'll see different model depictions of what could happen tomorrow. Until we finally get to tomorrow, and it happens, and that's when we'll finally know what, you know, <laughs> like what the, what's going to happen. So the best thing to do is not worry, don't be scared, or rather prepare for the worst, and, um, uh, you know, be There's nothing near Kansas City, through. dude. Hopefully, um, you know, storm's not coming to your house specifically, but, uh, uh, yeah, don't be scared. Kansas be scared. City's fine. Andy, what's up? Hey Ryan, still watching. If you're talking that, about uh, this Dallas, one, severe thunderstorm, Looks almost like that. 60 miles away. Of winds has continued, and now we have up to 80, 85 mile an hour winds, less than a thousand feet above the surface. So that easily will translate down to the surface if we do about 10 miles an hour removed for a thousand feet. Uh, I think 75 mile an hour gusts are easily happening right in that pocket around Venus, Texas, and that will head pretty close to uh, Waxahachie here. Uh, so I know that's a pretty populated area, and especially along I-35 East, if this wind uh, burst, this wind bag, as Reed would put it, uh, continues, then we'll get some damaging winds right in that area. So heads up ahead of time. I expect this severe thunderstorm warning to be upgraded. All right. Um, thank you so much, meteorologist Andy Hill, uh, drawing our attention to this pocket of wind here, causing some problems near Venus. Watch out in Mountain Peak, a Midlothian, Midlothian. Ward, Sardi, Waxahachie, uh, Oak Leaf, all these places. You're all, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning right now, um, but uh, it does look like some extra severe winds are possible with that pocket of wind right there and that uh, coming out of the storm. This is a very strong storm south of Dallas here. 
all the way out to Ferris and Ennis. I would be watching out a little bit later for some rotation is still pretty revelant in there. And, I wouldn't uh, expect if they drop that warning pretty quickly here. Uh, the storms out here in west, uh, south debris are exploding. Hold These were nothing just moments ago. Now, we've oh got shoot, a do we have band of really intense convection, lightning, thunder? Oh. These will start promoting severe thunderstorm warnings soon. We will be relaying those to you. Big time uh, storm, big severe thunderstorm warning over here in southeastern Oklahoma. Curious, you did you? Um, and we've still got oh, tornado warnings over here. I would just wait for these new ones to come. Uh, uh, actually, a report of a tornado uh, southeast of Hominy earlier. Um, and now that these ones are firing up. Is for a lot of embedded crap, Toronto. though. It's pretty boring. The rotations died down a lot. Um, same thing with the uh, storm up here near Delaware, Oklahoma. But these are, these are still just so um, capable of producing a tornado. So don't let your guard down if you're in e either of these warnings. Lebanon storm is trying to suck in some more air here. Some info oh, we just got a ton of new power that. outages. 2.2. Gets us going again. Can't get on that one. Do I got nothing on this one? Everyone flocked to this one to look like... And this one did actually nothing. Uh, do, you, do you foresee a tornado warning in Tulsa? Uh, not in the very near future. No, we've got storms forming back towards Oklahoma City that'll come up towards o Tulsa later. Uh, but I don't think that uh, in the very near future we have anything uh, crazy to worry about. Not down to one tornado warning. It's pronounced Sky Took. My bad. If you're new here, it's inevitable. I will mispronounce your town name. I apologize in advance. Um, interesting uh, mesoscale discussion from the uh, Storm Prediction Center, uh, pretty much in line with what we've been saying here. Um, uh, the tornado threat is increasing this evening in an area between like we said. Tulsa. Just kind of got got to get through this lull as these new ones kind of come up. And Joplin. Okay, so that's that's kind of the the target uh, area right now. If I if there was to be one in terms of where we expect the greatest activity to be over the next little bit. Right in this circle here. No velocities are appearing crazy yet. Yeah, all of um, Oklahoma, especially on the uh, eastern side, is still going to be hit by storms tonight. Jefferson County, Missouri. Um, I don't know exactly where that is, but uh, if it's near Jefferson City, um, that is, there's definitely some more storms on the way. It's going to be a similar situation to St. Louis, where it's going to be a long night of severe weather. Um, you're going to be dealing with on and off storms for probably the rest Hold of up. the evening. Check these uh, new photographs. Uh, Let's pull these up right here. I'm going to try and teach y'all. We got a minute. I'm going to try and teach y'all how to read a photograph. This new one we just got for tomorrow. Shut your mouth. And start to fizzle before they make it all the way to Jefferson City. So we'll okay, we got a minute. I'm going to teach you how to read this. I right, So see down here? So it says here. You see that? I don't know if I got it. Let me make this bigger. Y'all probably can't even see that. Okay, see right there? 1,920 joules per kilogram. Cape on SFC, mid-level cape, and higher level cape, 2,730 joules per kilogram. That's very impressive. 
This is favorable for PDS tornadoes, so stronger tornadoes. 64% tornado. It's predicting 4.5 inch hail. That is insane. Um, anyway, though, like that's almost insane. Very high cape. 238 near 277 SRH. So this is very impressive. The way it curves back in when this line keeps straight and it curves more north when the wind curves. So as, as we go higher, it curves more. Very, this is a good photograph for tomorrow. We said it was downtrending. I don't think it is. I really don't think this is downtrending here. Storm motion has it turning pretty rapidly. Hodograph is quite a crazy hodograph. Probably a lot of nonsense you guys don't care that much about. Let's put this back. Okay. Uh, that, so tomorrow, I thought tomorrow wasn't going to do anything. Or, uh, not that it wasn't going to do anything. That was obviously going to do something. But now it's definitely going to do some tomorrow. Again, let's go over the risks one more time. I'm going to just keep this video as a moderate. I don't really care. It didn't perform like a moderate. Not at all. This, I mean, it's not over. I shouldn't be saying that. We still have that huge. We still we haven't even got to the main risk yet. I've just been streaming so long. It feels like we have. But anyway. So today, it's a huge 10% hatch tornado risk. 100 what almost nearly 100,000 square miles tomorrow moderate risk we're gonna want to watch this one like we said guys it, it, it up ticked again it down ticked and then it went back up so 7 million people are under this moderate risk almost every big city in Ohio Columbus Cincinnati Dayton other than Cleveland Cleveland's not in it but it's not something to laugh at same thing 15% tornado. I honestly, I expect this to be expanded. They'll update it at midnight, and then they'll update it at 8 a.m. If they update it, if they add a high risk, if they make it bigger, I'll, I'll post that. On my, well, do you guys want me to post it if they change this moderate or the fifth or the tornado risk? They'll do it at midnight, so I'd post it in the morning. Would you guys want me? To, would you guys want me to post it though? 110. That that day's gonna tomorrow. I knew to, I knew today wasn't gonna do that much. I know tomorrow is gonna be a big day. See this one. This one's about to get that. This one's about to get that warning tick off it too. That's pretty lame. But I'm honestly getting excited for tomorrow now. Looking at that new hodograph because that I'm not gonna lie. That's impressive. I've seen high risks. With photographs like that. Like, this isn't nothing to scoff at. Now, will it be a high risk? It, too small of an area, honestly, to be a high risk. If I had, I think it is. Because usually when they have a high risk, they, they don't just have, like, a sliver. But it'll probably just be an expanded moderate. Expanded 15%. Oh, wow. Okay, so the cape here. Um, I don't know if Curious is still here. If he is, you'll know that uh, we're almost at 3,000 cape on this photograph. If I pull it up here, you'll be able to see. 2,500 2, here. 290 SRH. This is getting up there. Like This is seriously one of those things that... It could be bad. This could be a bad day. Like these days, produce EF fours. These days, uh, these days kill people. Honestly, I I hate to say it, but usually fifty four percent EF four probabilities grown. Three cape one twenty one. 
this is impressive. I I'm definitely expecting where is this to say? Does not say where it's, where it got lifted. Tornado warning lifted. We've still been doing this for a while. I mean, this has been a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys enjoy these that much. We kind of need one of these big risk days. This was supposed to be a big risk day. Our first moderate did not produce like it wanted to. We've covered a few enhanced. We've definitely covered a few enhanced. This is by far the biggest enhanced. But our first, I'd say our first real moderate is tomorrow, guys. Hold up. I got I gotta wait to make the thumbnail now because I I oh, it's it's pretty annoying. That's all I'll say. What am I hearing? Debbie Moore gifted 50. 50 memberships. Okay, dude. Just talk about tomorrow, because tomorrow... I expect tomorrow to produce more than today. I, I honestly expect probably one more tornado warning. It'll be some breaks, brief spin up in the middle of nowhere, Lawton. I was gonna go to Lawn for the Outlaw race. These are this is just a bunch of nothing burgers right here, guys. But tomorrow we are in for a ride. I, I gotta say today, it's a day day one moderate. Day two moderate usually means it's gonna be worse. That means they saw it coming further ahead. They know this was coming further ahead. That's I mean I I don't think I really have to say that usually that's worse when they can predict it further out. All these radars are down. Wow, that's great. Don't tell me you just got a tornado warning. Got no idea what that was. That was some ghost warning. I didn't even... There's a little risk here. There, I think there was a quick spin-up tornado actually over here. It's gone now. It was like a dust devil. I saw it on Twitter. I don't feel like finding all that again, but it looked pretty wild.
Yeah, Ryan's just talking about. Alabama and Mississippi. Let's hear. Um, so let's make sure that everybody out there is uh, hyper weather aware uh, tomorrow because I, I still think we're going to have uh, a, a big severe weather outbreak. Oh, uh, let's see. No, Kansas City. I think you're in a tornado watch. Oh, you're close. Not quite. Not quite. What time does the day two update? Oh, yeah. I do the thing in Discord where it pops up that image. Day two. Okay, so. Okay. It'll be 2 a.m. And then day one will be. Uh, okay, I see. Oops, sorry. Lisa Martin. Thank you for the 10 gifted. I, there's close to 100 gifted members today. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Allie, our graphic designer, and now tick for that there was no convection on top of that. Look at all that. Experience discover those you like. Um, they been with the matching all around Indy, kind of Indiana and early tonight. Eventually, zero Z H triple R continues to show our storms tonight, kind of congealing into a big multicellular linear system that rides the warm front across uh, Illinois, Indiana, into Ohio, eventually into Pennsylvania. And um, that's going to cause flash flooding problems tonight. Uh, but let's see what's happening here tomorrow around noon. Around noon, we've got uh, our new storms forming a little bit earlier than earlier model runs depicted. Uh, back here in southern Illinois, southern Indiana, way down into Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, Mississippi. And the storm mode looks a little messier here. So we've, we don't have that pretty line of the perfectly arranged uh, supercells like we did in the uh, uh, 18Z run, but we still have isolated significant convection all around Indiana and Ohio, down into Northern Kentucky. Um, and even the, the broken line segment in Southern Kentucky down into Middle Tennessee looks more impressive on this run uh, than the previous run. Uh, so uh, I, I certainly don't see any cause for relief from looking at this. 
Um, and I don't think that we'll see uh, any sort of uh, major decrease in the, um, uh, the outlook for tomorrow based off of this information alone. We still have uh, incredibly uh, elevated, uh, significant tornado parameter values for this part of the world. Um, and it's uh, even more aligned with the storms. You see earlier, the big the run that we were looking at where we had all the pink, all of the really high STP values in um, uh, central Ohio. We got to remember that there was no convection on top of that. You know, w there was a, a line of supercells trying to catch up with the side of that uh, of those ingredients from the west. But this shows all of the convection kind of popping up in the middle, in the heart of uh, where we we're going to have the bulk of the shear, the convective energy, and the uh, the high dew points. So I, I still see, uh, you know, this is a different solution than what we were looking at earlier. But this is still an incredibly concerning uh, so solution that if this is how it ends up, or if the other way, if either way, if either of those solutions are what we end up with tomorrow in reality, we are going to have a significant severe weather a day for people in Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, all the way down into Alabama and Mississippi. Um, so let's make sure that everybody out there is uh, hyper weather aware uh, tomorrow because I, I still think we're going to have uh, a, a big severe weather outbreak. Uh, let's see. What else? What time does the day two update? 